Let's look at the signs that people should be looking for in an unhealthy breast. What, what do we look for? Sure. So typically we're looking for a change in the feel. And, and sometimes it can be the outer skin might have like a redness to it, a heat kind of to it if you touch it. It also might be sore, might hurt. That is, that's a red flag. And another big red flag is something going on with the nipple. Discharge from the nipple, the nipple peeling, the nipple looking really red and inflamed, having more heat in, in that case. Those are all like red flags that something's going on. Now, of course, I want folks to look at, is it cyclical? Is it a constant type of thing happening? Because if you get breast tenderness and it's cyclical the two weeks before your period, this is the great time to look into some iodine supplementation, <laughs> but also it's a, it's a sign of excess estrogen and you're not clearing it, but it's also a sign that caffeine could be messing with you mm -hmm. as well. Your, you have, you know, your breasts are, are very large glands, right? So they are receptive to cyclical changes in hormones. So it's something you want to think about, but if you have symptoms that are constant, so if you found a lump, because some people will have very lumpy breasts, I do. I have very fibrocystic breasts and, you know, it's hard to, to distinguish between something abnormal and not, but when you feel something over and over again, and it's there throughout your whole cycle and it's not cyclical, this is something you want to get looked at for sure. Now, toxins, dairy, gluten, those are also other things that could keep the breasts inflamed. And so a lot of times I'll tell folks, you know what, let's pull all these things out. Let's see what's going on. Of course, I'm going to do thermography in the, in the interim to see what is up. And, and really, you know, one of the other big, big things, and, and they call it powdate orange, which really looks like orange peel skin. And, and what it is, is like this retraction. So your skin kind of pulls and it looks dimply and it looks like, like the peel of an orange. This is something that we definitely, if something looks like that, we got to talk to somebody. Um, and even if there's like stabbing pains in the breast that just keep getting you, it's worth talking to someone um, and, and getting an evaluation there. And also like, if you notice that there is a change in the size of the breast too, that's, you know, if one breast is larger than the other, and you've known that since you know, you were born because some people have different size breasts. That is a natural thing. That's you. But if all of a sudden it changes now, that's, that's something we need to look into. Now, what I didn't mention is what, what kind of lumps are suspicious lumps? They're kind of hard. They're thickened. They often won't move. Lymph nodes, we can kind of move around a little bit. Something that's fixed, that's something, ooh, we definitely want to get that looked at. Also, if it looks like you have a bruise on your breast and you didn't bump into anything, there was no accident, that is something that, yep, definitely want to get that looked at. Now, I think for a lot of people, nipple discharge is going to get their attention, you know, bloody nipple discharge, absolutely. And, and barring that you didn't just run a marathon and, and, you know, Full disclosure, you know, sometimes we get that rubbing stuff. If that did not happen, it's happening out of nowhere. That is something really, really huge. And like I had mentioned before, fixed pain, just random fixed pain. Could it be, could it very well be that you have a pec or chest muscle that you injured? Yes. Could it be a trigger point? Absolutely. In fact, here's funny news. Um, not so funny, but funny to me in a way. Um, I work in the realm of pain and, and musculoskeletal stuff. And my issue actually ended up being a very enlarged part of my tissue that was torn in a pec when I was doing a lot of um, chest presses, um, trying to get a PR. Silly stuff, didn't put it together. But, you know, of course, my mind went to the worst because of what happened with my mom. So side note, if you've been, you know, a new workout, you've been pushing it in the gym, you have a fixed spot of pain in your breast, and it's even a lump, and you can feel it, it hurts, it's keeping you up at night, still go get it checked out and reevaluate what's going on. But my thermography did note that there was something there and that's why we ended up going further through the ultrasound and jumping through some hoops there as well. So I never want people to discredit anything that feels abnormal in the breast. Go get it checked out.